hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how you can export your drawing in dxl format and then you can view and do some editing on in autocad you can put it in a particular title block and then you can do some you know editing in autocad if you wish before you transfer it to the um to the to the steel manufacturer or to the to the contractor okay so let's get into it um okay, so let me just do some connection here this is a concrete column okay and then this is a high section beam okay so i just pick um this one that you pick the concrete column and then you peel this you pick the steel beam okay so that's that let me just escape that and then at the top here let me um control q for this control q for this as well so here i'll just join it with splice and then let me join this side with splice okay and then this side let me use um um this one so i'll pick this and then this then you right click okay and then this side let me use orange ctrl q so i just want to specify some particular points that we want to view okay so and then let me use orange for this one so this and this then okay so um that is that is okay you can do some connections on your own so this video is not about connection actually so what i'll just do right now is um i will create a detail manager so that i can particularly see this particular point i can see them um you know more specifically okay so to do that uh, on this point let me just um create this you click let me select this two item no let me just select this one alone okay then you come to this detail manager okay so you click on it and then you give it a name let me give it an embedded steel connection an embedded steel connection all right then you click on add okay so after you've added it it will give you a chance to select objects that is you know this this connection is the main object so you are going to select as many as possible secondary objects that are needed okay for your for 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 the detail okay so you click on select object then i'll select this beam and i'll select this concrete column okay then i right click to activate that then you see this box okay but when you zoom closely you see that this box is not actually covering it properly okay so i'll just offset this let me take the offset to be um 150 okay so that is now enlarged you can see that okay that is doing well okay and then so you can decide to pick some more views to see okay you see that the red that tells you that you're looking from the left this green tells you that you're looking from the front why this top view um that is in um blue color okay so let me select this and then maybe this and then maybe this okay so you just select as many as possible okay and then you can also see 3d view so all the views you selected will be here let me click on this plus then that will even show you um a 3d view okay so that is good enough and then when you have that you can just close okay so let's go to this side let me do something like that for this side too select this plies alone okay then click on this and then let me give it a name let me say splice okay and then add then select objects or objects that will just be this upper um the bottom column and the top column then right click okay so and then let me just create 3d view then i'll close that okay so let's do the same thing here okay so for this one so i just select this one alone okay and then you go to the detail item manager give it a name let me give it stephen then Stephen connection okay then you had okay and then i have to select objects so i select the beam and then i'll select the column and then you just i click so the box will come in that way and i'll just pick um 3d view and then i close so what is this orange okay so just select all of this all right and then you go here so i'll give it a name orange then you had so the object you need to select so i'll select the beam and then i'll select the column okay then you you just right click all right and then let me put 3d view and then you can close so you can always come back by double clicking on the box to do some editing you want to do maybe you want to see more view maybe you want to see this side and then you know just just do that okay so that's how you do that then just close okay so now let's go to the um drawing tab to see the view so you can create this as many as possible you can just create you know 
for every different connections you have so that you can see those connections properly all right so when you are done with that just um, go to the drawing here or you just press ctrl d but let me just double click on this and then you go to the drawing manager okay so you have all of these as default you see these are the plan this is foundation this is story one story two and everything okay up to the last story so for the story here let me just double click on it okay then you close this so this is what you have as your plan you can see this is the column this one you are seeing this is the column that concrete column and then this one is the part footing that you are seeing under okay so this is the connections you have there you can see this this column you have these kind of boards going in and then so that's what you have and that box that you are seeing that is what is now appearing as this circle it won't be appearing as a box anymore okay so you can see this is it all right so and then to see that detail item manager with it just click on this all right click on this and then it will load it okay so it has loaded it at the bottom okay so you can see it here. So this is the 3d view and then these are the other views you selected so for example you can see this particular boot of m16 is being labeled twice you can see so you can delete one so that you don't have um too much of that okay you can just delete one it delete on your button okay so you can do some dimensions here too where you click on this you know from this point to this point and then you right click okay just drag it to where you want it to drag to then you right click okay so you can do for the vertical as well let me escape that you can do for the vertical as well on this point and then this point and then you right click you can actually just export this to um autocad and then be doing all those dimensions there too but you can do it here too so that is just how you can see all the labelings are there and then you know everything so if you want to export this just go to the file here and then go to um export then you just click on export okay so file name just click on this so that i can find the parts you want to put it and then let me go to um let me just put in desktop okay and then let me give it yes so save and then click on exports then it starts exporting all the entity this is done with the exports so just um just close okay so that is how you export so you can close that no do i want to save no then you can go to the drawing manager again to see other stories let me see this one but instead of exporting from that side you can actually export from this view so look at this side story one so you just click on this side which is export so it automatically exports with this name it will export with this name you are seeing okay so let me find the parts that i want to place it let me just place it in desktop and then okay so it will you can see the entity so that's finished that then you click on done so that has exports too so that is how you do it so let me double click on this and then close this so you see all of the details that we had here so let me click on this to see everything okay then you can just see all the connections you have okay so this is the stiffen plates okay that's the stiffen you can see the 3d and then at this portion what do we have um and here you have a orange connection okay so that is just it then you are good to go all right so if you want to export this i've shown you how you can do that another thing you can do is you can actually create a drawing on your own let me close this you can actually create a drawing on your own all right so um for example this column just select this column and then this column then maybe this one and then this one then highlight um the assembly okay so let me try to show all as surely selected so this is what you have there okay this is what you have so if you want to create the assembly drawing of all of this so that you can label the you know label the section you have give it the name of the section maybe it is uc whatever okay and then the hose the dimension of the hose and everything okay so all you just need to do is you select everything then you right click and then you go to create drawing all right but mine is actually not working for now i don't know what's wrong with it so you go to assembly drawing okay then you see it it will just load a little bit that's what mine is facing right now but normally it should load so it will load the whole of the drawing okay then you can come to the drawing manager again that drawing will now be um it will be among all of this okay so you can just double click on it to open and then you export just like i showed you for all of that okay so that is how you undo that okay if you like this video don't hesitate to give this video a like and then you need to subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching and thanks for always coming